Yo, 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 Two Swag Crew, it's your boy Xavier Two Swag back at it again, bro. Back at it like we never left, bro. Oh, I am so tired. I just woke up. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. But, gotta get this content out. Sorry I missed yesterday, bro. Today is most definitely a double upload today. After you guys see this, you guys will be seeing part six of Power Rangers around either nine or 10 o'clock tonight. So, you know, just had to get this done because I had to re-record this freaking video because I tried a new recording method and it didn't work out for me, bro. So I'm just going to keep the old format and complete this game with the old format, bro. And then on the next game that we play, I will do the new format or try my new method of recording. So yeah, that's pretty much all that happened. But let's start this video off with a proper introduction before we go any further. To all my beautiful two swag crew ladies, bro. Ooh, what do you do, ladies? And to the entirety of the two swag crew. Hey, Jack! What's good? It's your boy, Xavier Two Swag, y'all. And y'all already know, before we get this video started, do me a favor, leave a like. Leave a like, bro. Leave a comment down below. And subscribe if you're new. Upon doing it, turn on that post notification bell so that way you will be notified whenever I'm doing anything for this channel. But, as you guys can see today, from the thumbnail and the title, we are going to be playing and continuing part 10 in the Let's Play series of Life is Strange Remastered. Yes, sir, bro. Continuing part 10 in the Let's Play series of Life is Strange, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I really can't even remember where we were. If I'm being honest, it be because, bro, it be so much that ties into like when I record and stuff like that, bro. And it's just like, I had videos edited for the week, so I was straight for an entire week of like not having to worry about editing videos again because I had already edited videos for the week and one day, and bro, I just let it slide for there. And now we back to catching up, bro. Back to square one. The grind don't stop, baby. I know I said daily uploads, bro, and I missed the day, but that's okay, bro. I appreciate all you guys love and support on this series as well, bro. And with all of that being said, guys. Let's go ahead and continue part 10 in this Let's Play series of Life this time on me. Alright y'all, let's go, part 10. Let me make sure everything is straight. God, I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. Yo, okay. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not- Okay bro, so in this part of the game, I'm going to be breezing through, I'm going to be breezing through chapter 10. I mean, well, episode 10, bro, because like I said, I had to re-record this whole thing. And and all I'm going to say before we get started is I don't want Frank to get shot. So, yeah. Counting on you? That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. <sighs> About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Sorry, bro. Like I said, y'all just woke up. 
We gonna go ahead and get right to the we gonna go ahead and get right to it. Oh wow, she actually laid it on her. Oh look, the Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. <sighs> Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! You scared me. To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadour. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Mm. Yes, we're so I, close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? You know Rachel. Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Mm, I did everything right. Let's go. With the door open. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Breeze through Thank without you. anybody getting hurt. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. That was 
was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. All right, so let's leave the beach. And I think we're about to go straight back to the house. And with us going back to the house, I know everything to do from there as well. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. So now it's time for the real breakdown of things. I better focus on this board and start time. So, gather information on a character by selecting all the correct clues for each section there's a specific number of clues. Let's look at Frank's drug deals I, 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 I during the week of the, the party. Part. Okay, so, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so, off the whim, I know Frank's account book is one. There's no, no doubt she loved him, and rot must stand for Rottweiler. In this one. That does fit Nathan. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Hey, Max, just wanted to see how the search is going. Thanks, Frank. We're getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you, bon if you both want to party. And good luck. Bro, I fucking love this. I love to see the fact that Frank is on our side, bro. Like, like for this being my second time around playing this, bro. And if you guys had actually had the chance to see the original video of me playing this, bro. We would have been where we was a whole lot longer. Like, it, it, it probably would have took me about a good damn 30 minutes just getting off that one part. Not, not even 30. Probably a good 20, 25 minutes getting off that one part. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex. Okay, okay, Max. So. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Nathan is uh, right. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party oh. supplies, no doubt. There's one. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. Boom. There's he two. could open a store. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his uh, life. Uh, okay, so it's not doing I'm, not selecting I'm getting a contact high just reading this. No right here. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. No that right explains here. a lot. And if I'm not mistaken, right might be. I right wonder here. what dog name right. Frank would have given Bo. me. Oh yes, these are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. All right, so part two. So now thanks I to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan Dang, did during the party's one? week. This one. And what is this? David really has no. been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. In this one, if I'm not mistaken. And that's all she wrote. Yep. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Now I remember exactly what to pick from here, too. Uh, Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's bone. to match the coordinates? Boom. Yep, another car David was tracking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see Nathan's license plate. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Nathan, obviously. Because this one... Interesting. Was... No, yep, yeah, okay. Is this... Of course Nathan drives an SE. Hmm. Who I'm else was David tracking mind. here? Yep, both. Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Alright, so now Nathan's clues. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. 
I know it's gonna be. What could help me unlock this, this phone? Piper, the Vortex Club, this one, and his phone. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Wait a minute. Is it his There's a files? lot of numbers. No, it's in not here. his student files. It's this one. Oh, so busted. Oh, no, 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 no. Good to see. Okay, files. Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. All right. So now, in another part of the Let's story, start that hacking. Stuck, this right here plays a vital part in this episode in particular, bro. Those three underlined numbers, they're 542. That's a vital part in this. So now, this right here. Obviously, we have to unlock Nathan's phone. So, one, one, one. Oops, one. bad code. Wouldn't be right. Tip for anybody. I'm just spoiling it because I'm really just trying to breeze through this episode due to the fact that I already know what's going on. All of those four digit codes are irrelevant. The only thing that matters in this episode or in this particular scenario is that PUK number. Seven, I mean, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, eight, seven, nine, eight. I mean, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, zero, eight, eight, seven, eight, nine. So let's try it on the last one. The code is eight, seven. Eight, nine, seven, eight, eight, zero. Think, think. Damn. <sighs> Look at this shit eight? again because you did miss something. Zero, eight, zero, eight, zero, eight, zero, eight, zero, eight. So it's eight, seven, eight. Nine, seven, eight, zero, eight. Booyah! Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been. Yes! Oh, Nathan. Oh, God. So, it no, is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. And now for this part, I'm looking for times after the party. So they one. This one and this one. Boom. Chloe, this is definitely the Sorry, place. Please. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Sorry to rush through nope. like this, y'all. You know, if I'm being honest, like, because I'm not really just giving. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit because I don't really feel like I'm giving everybody the chance to really experience it. But it's like, bro, I didn't already play this entire episode. And I know exactly what goes on in this entire episode. So, bro, I'm just going to breeze through it. Sorry if I'm being repetitive. I just, you guys know how I operate as a YouTuber. And if you don't know, I will explain to you right now. The way Xavier likes to operate is I like to be completely honest with any and everything that I do on this channel, bro. I don't fake nothing at hey, all. Hey, Max, there's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named... Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. 
We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Bro, around this time in the video from the last video, bro, I was still talking to Frank, bro. I was legit still talking to Frank. I just not hit a, a freaking a freaking 40 minute mark, I think, when I got to this. There car. has to be another way in, Max. I bet you can find it. I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. The one thing that I am still bummed out about it, though, as far God, as God, this is goes, bro, way too I Blair Witch. Say, I have goosebumps all over. I really would feel a whole lot better if my story was different had I had the chance to actually save Kate, bro. Like. Seeing Kate alive in this game would have meant a lot more to me than what it does now. I mean, it's still a pretty cool game for what it is. I'm not saying that it's not cool or anything. It's just a fact that, bro, I couldn't save her. Over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. We probably can get done with this episode within this video. Oh. Well, within the time span of this video. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. 
I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I guess the press cuts were just born bastards. This tractor has paid its dues. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. So many haystacks, so few needles. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Ah, the good old days. Bro. Eggs used to be 14 cents. Bacon used to be 70. Sugar used to be 50. Bro, it's about four damn dollars for a thing of sugar now. Eggs is up on five dollars. Bacon about seven dollars a damn thing, depending on what brand of bacon you get. Coffee, I don't really buy coffee, but I know that shit is expensive. Cocaine was two dollars. Tobacco. Cigarette prices are about seven dollars now, a freaking thing. Milk. Milk? Milk is four dollars, bro. I went to the grocery store the other day and bought some milk. Milk is three damn near four dollars, bro. Prices are insane now. Those was the good old days, but that was before technology was what it is today. I'm glad I grew up in this area. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Riley! Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Riley! No mail! Snap a little piggy pig. Click, click. strikes again. Max Giver is crazy. Chloe, bring your beautiful butt. Let's go. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? 
He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. So now, at this point in the game is where I said those three numbers was going to be important. Let's input those three numbers. This bunker is so surreal. Yes! I thought that only worked in the movie. 32 minute mark, bro. I got here at an hour and two minutes, bro. Open session. I just like to point out the, the huge progression in time. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. More survivalist supplies. Can you imagine chilling in this room? Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. And this is where the weirdness happens. A photo printer. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. So now this is where I last left off before anything else in the game I had. Oh, that son of a bitch. Damn. Everything is sketchy as fuck, but nothing about Rachel here. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. I'm clueless at this point now. Like, I don't know anything of nothing right now. That's what I was trying to say, Rachel, hey. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. Victoria? The binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my God. Rachel. Let's see what's in here. Oh my God. No. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? to the junkyard.
slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Oh, wow. The same junkyard that we had our little shooting range at. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you going to help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Please, no. Oh. Oh. That smell. Rachel. Oh. Wow, bro. That's crazy. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. Well, you know that. Shut up no school that I attend now. It's giving real white people shit. Bro, it's that that's that white people that's that white people shit. That's that white people shit. Oh shit. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Two moons. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I, got you, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. 
I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Mm. Hey, we still need your expert help. No kill. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> I love that relationship so freaking much, bro. I just love that relationship so much. Oh. Take your code or anything? No, I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Uh, hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Oh, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? what girl? She had blue hair, oh. dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not Mr. cool enough Jefferson. for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, so, Mr. Jefferson, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. You need to find Nathan and take him down. Is she mad Warren asked me out? Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his glove. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Brooke, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. Mm. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Okay, 
pay money to see Warren kicking Nathan's ass. Object Angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Aww. Good luck. Hold on, I ain't yes, done, Alyssa. Yes, I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or... Kate. She must know I'd punch her in the face. Mm. I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kind of are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. Yes, I I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I, gotta ask you about I was ready thing. to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. Kate. I'm surprised to see anybody here, considering that Kate just killed herself in front of everybody. I know. I only came because Warren was coming, and I needed something else to vent about. This party is such a tribute to Kate's spirit. Kate deserves revenge. We have to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else at Blackwell. I can tell you know some serious shit by your face. You don't have to tell me now, but please let me know if I can help, like you helped me. No okay. doubt. Um, but I actually have to go now. I'll talk to you later, Alyssa. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. doing in here? Oh, what was in that shit? If I get Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? I'm Besides, this Dana toilet. is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Not again. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. When I saw them together, he came over to cry like a little bitch. Whoa. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin. But you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're gonna find somebody just as cool. Just minus the drama. 
Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. She the one knocking on the Hello? Can you please hurl and flush already? Yes, you've been vomiting for like an hour. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. If you don't wrap it up, we're coming Somebody's in. either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. That's disgusting. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. God, are you mental? You can't come in. Hey, Courtney, how are you? Uh, what is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? <laughs> it really must be the end of the world. <laughs> Get it? But seriously, like, what do you want? I didn't want to be alone tonight after this week, so I thought it'd be nice to hang out in the VIP section. Yes, it is very nice. If you're in the Vortex Club, which you're not and will never be. So, excuse me. Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Let's make detailed plans later, okay? Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. This is so lame. You dance worse I heard than, than my dad. Like Vortex yes, Club. Yes, but Who can he do? Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. How's the end of the world going? Great! This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? Is that I Victoria? will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich. And rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. 
The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? But we'll see. Victoria, your picture so has to win. Yeah, that would be wicked. Uh, did you hear something? Damn. I always love talking to She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Everybody here all fuzzy. What's up, Hayden? Oh, hey, Max. I didn't think you'd actually come tonight. Well, I didn't think anybody would want to party after Kate Marsh killed herself this week. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? No. I want to find Nathan. Me too! He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope at the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or you could sit down and take a quick hit. What about Victoria? God, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking wrapped. Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Mm. Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Taylor. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. What does Victoria say about that? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother-sister. Or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in the Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm, like, far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So... You should avoid any drink here tonight. Trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. Mm. He's a pharmacy simulator. Mm. I do have to go now. Look out Respect for yourself, you. Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. You are really want to talk to me, Taylor. Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Ah, uh, no. I'm good. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Why don't you ever want to see me, Max? You're so cute, and we never really talk. Logan, you're such a dick. You bailed on Dana when she was pregnant, right when she needed you most. Now you're trying to mac on me? Are you proud of yourself? Bro, you are giving me the full body tackle. I already feel like an ass for flaking on Dana. <sighs> How can I be an undick now? You could start by not trying to sex up every female in front of you. 
The rest is your choice. Use it well, bro. Oh, and don't ever touch Daniel DaCosta again. You will regret it. Now excuse me. Damn. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Victoria, you are a real piece of shits. Like, bro, you most definitely are to blame for 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 Kate ending herself the way she did. I'm gonna just ask her about I blame Nathan, Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Can I hear well, her? Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. Can I hit I'm not her? perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would Th be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. As much as I hate Victoria's guts, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I can't be the fucked up person that that she, I can't be the type of person that she is. So me, being the good person that I am, I'm going to warn Victoria about this dark room situation. And if she don't want to listen, and if she end up like Rachel Amber, then that's your fault, Victoria. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know think Nathan it's a is your think it's a guy. friend, but think it's a guy. he is truly unstable think and it's dangerous. A guy. Think it's he a guy. did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Think it's a guy. Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Why Weird, do you act like it? But cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks. And I do. So the truth comes out. Mmm. I'm not saying I'm proud of the fact that she's jealous. It's just the fact that you finally tell the truth now, huh? Okay, Vicky. Okay. She finally told the truth. 
To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. There we go. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Thank you enough for not being a complete butt here, Victoria. Maybe there's hope yet for and I know those consequences will be good. Corn. I'm glad I warned her. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Oh, good. Chloe's here. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, That's exactly what I was just <laughs> looking on a mission. for Nathan. Get uh -huh. out of my face, please, Mr. Jefferson. Without uh, I didn't know you were pals Because you're him. suspect now, too. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all Everyday Heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh my god! Yeah! Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria won. Thank you, Victoria. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now.
So my plan is to ride this Stop episode. Stop stomping <laughs> around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. I think I might just wrap it up right here, though. Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. Max, when we catch Nathan, we better be one so I can kill him over and over. Oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Maybe we should have called the police. What the hell? Oh, gross. Where are you exactly? Oh, I hate this place. Maybe we should have called the police. Are you okay? We need to hurry and get that motherfucker. Where are you? This place. Oh. Rachel, Max, please hurry. Oh, God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe.
I'm confused. So me at 32%. That's 68 percent of people are fucking assholes. I mean, maybe they not, but in my eyes, why would you kill your friend? No, um, refuse Chloe's request. Like Warren beat the snot out of Nathan. Yeah, no one got hurt, which is what I was hoping for. Cause I had all three of those options my first play round, bro. I I beat all three of those results my first play round. Frank got killed once. He got wounded like three times and then no one got hurt around the fourth time. Victoria believed your warning. And I feel like the only reason why Victoria believed my warning is the fact that I did it. I wasn't an asshole to her in episode one. Like when the whole little paint incident happened, I didn't post her picture and stuff like that. I feel like that's the only reason why Victoria believed my warning. Victoria's out of harm's way and my freaking friend is dead. By the hands of Mr. Jefferson. Bro. I, I, I can't say I'm, I'm surprised, bro. I can't say I'm surprised at all. Because I felt like Jefferson had something to do with just about any and everything that, that went on, bro. Why, why do you think he left? After Kate killed herself, why do you think he left? Like, he was the only person that left the school. Everybody else they put, he left. Bro, he killed Chloe, bro. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video, y'all. Um, well, just when I thought this game couldn't get any crazier, bro, he did. First Kate, now this. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Life is Strange, bro. Um, Life is Strange Remastered. This was episode 10 in this in the Let's Play series, bro, I'm I'm still stuck on the fact that I don't know, bro. It's like I knew Jefferson had something to do with it, but I didn't want to believe it. But it was like, bro, such a fucking weirdo. It, it, I don't know, bro. I really don't know. If you guys are new here, bro, and you guys are enjoying my energy, my presence, and my vibe, bro, please be sure to leave a like, first of all, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe and turn on post notifications, so that way you'll be notified whenever I'm doing anything for this channel, bro. There's a couple of new games that just recently came out, bro, for Spoken, being one of those games, bro, for Spoken will be played on the channel very soon. Thank you guys so much for all y'all love and support on this series. And, bro, I really do appreciate the, the love and support that you guys show me on all of my channels, bro. I just recently made another channel for lives, like for strict live streams, like for Twitch live streams, full Twitch live streams. If you guys just so happen to miss me on Twitch, bro, it'll be over here on YouTube. And that way, you guys know. Go ahead, go subscribe over there on Twitch, bro. There's a link tree down below in the description that will take you literally everywhere you will want to be, bro, as far as, like, my YouTube goes. Um, I mean, as far as channels and social medias and Twitch and YouTube, all of it, bro. I'm still stuck on this shit, bro. I'm, I can't get over it. I can't. 55% of people stopped more from beating up Nathan. No. Nathan deserved everything. So now that, that, that makes me beg an even bigger question. Was that Jefferson that texted us from Nathan's phone? What happened to Nathan then? Because we were chasing Nathan, but come to find out Jefferson was there. And we got a text from Nathan's phone. Was that Jefferson that texted us from his phone? I don't understand, bro. And then he shot Chloe for, like, dead. It's just a lot of shit that we're going to get figured out in the next episode, bro. 
But with all of that being said, to the sweat crew, let me bring this mic right here because y'all really can't hear me with it being behind my head. But with all of that being said, good morning, good evening, and good night. Depending on if you guys are tuned into this video from the world, and I will see you guys for part 11 in the Life of Strange series. I will see you guys tomorrow for that. Bro. Peace out, y'all. I love y'all, bro. You would feel that way too if your dad was still alive. I don't mean to pick my size, but really it's hard to decide. Saving you, save the town. I guess everyone gotta die. Cause we ride, we run as we run out the clock. If life is a game, then that would be strange. We in this together, co op. Your stepdad can't even fight. Red light, he needs to stop. Vortex Club, I want y'all to dance. I want y'all to spin to this bop. Veronica acting real fake. She might as well be a prop. Had him in a mess too big. Can I clean up with a mop? It all started with a butterfly. You and that other guy, bathroom star gun pop. Nathan was selling at work.